New now at 4 o'clock, the recent murder of a man in Brewery Town is sparking questions about the legal system. One of the suspects charged with murder was recently allowed out on bail for different violent crimes. It has many asking how and why is that possible? Action News reporter Maggie Kent now live at police headquarters with what we're learning on how these cases move through the court process in the system. Maggie. Well, sorry, I can tell you uh, that we spoke to the district attorney's office today, and we also spoke to criminal defense lawyers about what may have happened within this process. But we do know that a 20 year old who has now been arrested for the murder of 25 year old Milan Lankar was just released from prison two weeks beforehand. Police say 25 year old Milan Lankar didn't put up a fight when two people approached him Wednesday evening while walking his dog after his pockets were rifled through. Longcar was fatally shot and now police say they've arrested and charged one of the people seen on that surveillance video identified as 20 year old Davis Josephus who lives just a few blocks from the scene of the crime in Brewery Town. Police say Josephus was arrested just two hours after the murder driving a car reported stolen in a separate carjacking while four others ran off Josephus was taken into custody his clothing and description police say matching up with the surveillance in Longcar's murder. Just two weeks earlier, Josephus was let out of prison on December 29th after paying reduced bail. He was charged with a separate violent carjacking of an Uber driver and for allegedly assaulting and threatening a corrections officer while in custody. Original bail conditions would have required Josephus to pay $12,000 to be released. Instead, two separate judges reduced bail and Josephus was released after paying $3,200. We spoke to Jane Rowe today, a representative of District Attorney Larry Krasner's office. Rowe says in this case, ADAs argued for higher bail amounts but were denied by the two presiding judges. Rowe says there needs to be more information presented in bail hearings and more defendant history information made available to judges. We spoke to defense attorney Chuck Peruto, who was not involved directly in these cases, but he says he often sees assistant district attorneys regularly vying for the highest bail possible when it comes to gun charges, $1 shy of $1 million, which he says can do more harm. You can't uniformly and not look at the case as for high bail because then you're not going to get it all the time. Ask for it when it's needed. The district attorney's office says Josephus will not be eligible for bail in this upcoming murder trial because it is a murder case. Police also say they have identified a second suspect or person of interest, I should say, but have not released their identity as of yet. We're live at police headquarters. Maggie Kent, Channel 6 Action News. Shari. Maggie, thank you.